What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cat suicide, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. We love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, type this to Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no then no. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys, and thanks for all the new subscribers. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. And I have another channel. It's a Leo aspected channel. Um, cross watchers are welcome to watch it, but it's meant geared for any aspects of Leo in, in, in your chart, in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the moon, energy for charts. It's called hashtag capital, all caps, L E O G A N G with exclamation point. Um, if you scroll down and you're interested in the channel, there's promo videos for it. So you can click on the link in the description box and it takes you to the channel if you're interested. Okay. It's for cross watchers or anybody that has Leo aspected in their chart. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Okay. So um, the channel message I received was um, a very serious medical malpractice lawsuit in a hospital is about to. Um, is about to come to the light very soon. Many people are about to be involved in this um, lawsuit. Her doctors, nurses, um, and people, they would have never expected to be um, involved with it. Um, other medical professionals. Um, so you, pl uh, you plug in and how it resonates. Um, it sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. It hasn't happened yet, but it's upcoming. Some kind of very serious medical malpractice lawsuit. Um, now, medical malpractice is basically, for anybody who doesn't know, you can Google the term if you're interested in knowing what it is, but it's basically not um, being ethical and not providing care and treat. Well, I'll just, I'll just Google it and we'll, we'll, we'll read the exact definition. I'm not going to tell you. I'll just tell you the definition, okay? Not going to freestyle it. <laughs> But this is serious. It's very serious. Um, it's upcoming in the universe. I heard doctors, nurses, so that could be LPN, LBN, CRNP, LBN, what have you, what have you, um, and other medical staff are about to be involved in this lawsuit. So something has already occurred, I'm feeling, in the universe to a patient or patients. Um, it might be a death in some of these situations. I didn't hear it was. We'll pull some cards and see if I can figure it out. But we're getting more channelings. But um, I'm feeling maybe a death has occurred or someone got operated on on the wrong limb or um, the wrong organ was taken out or um, or something of that nature. I didn't hear any of that. I didn't hear any of that. But maybe um, something very serious has happened. I'll tell you that um, to cause this. So I'm feeling maybe something was operate the wrong thing was operated on, or someone passed away, or something like that. How that resonates. Medical malpractice litigation. In a medical malpractice lawsuit, the patient must show that the doctor's neg negligence, which, which is neglect, or incompetence, which is not knowing, um, likely contributed to their injury. So in a medical malpractice lawsuit, the patient must show that the doctor's negligence or incompetence likely contributes to, to their injury. So some kind of injury, but it might be a death in um, some of these, possibly. Four elements of malpractice. To do so, four legal elements must be proven. A professional duty owed to the patient, a breach of such duty, injury caused by the breach, and resulting damages. What is the most common malpractice claim? misdiagnosis or miss or delayed diagnosis, failure to treat, prescription drug errors, surgical or procedural errors, childbirth injuries. These are the most common malpractice claims. I'll read them again. Misdiagnosis or delayed diagnosis, failure to treat, prescription drug errors, surgical or procedural errors, childbirth injuries. The highest medical malpractice settlement was in uh, July of 2019. A Baltimore judge awarded 
a woman in Prince George County, Maryland, $205 million. Wow. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, it's upcoming in the universe. It's in a hospital. I heard it's in a hospital. Um, I heard um, doctors, nurses, and other staff. I, I don't know what the crap is going on here. I have no idea. We'll see, but um, I'm thinking it might ha have, it might, it might be a death, possibly, but I don't know. We'll see. Spirit message is here. Mature woman. Spirit message is here. Professor. A water sign is getting a huge wake up call. A water sign is getting a huge wake up call. Cancer Pisces Scorpio is getting a huge wake up call. So you plug in and help resonate. Some kind of Cancer Pisces Scorpio is getting a huge wake up call. I mean, this is serious. This is serious. Um, people should leave people alone. They should stay in their lane and leave people alone. And if you're employed or contracted in to do a, especially a professional job at any job, you should do it and do it to the best of your ability um, and become and know what you're doing especially in professional type situations. There's been many times I've had to, if I wasn't sure before I was in there as a nurse and they're providing treatment or care to a patient, I would walk out of the patient room, I would go to the nurse's desk and I would Google it if I was not sure because everybody needs refreshers. I would not do anything I did not, was not familiar with or was unsure of. Or if I didn't know an area, I would go out quietly and discreetly and Google it at the nurse's station. That's me. Now, some nurses aren't like that, but I didn't want to make an error because we, as nurses, as RNs, we have licensures to uphold, as do the medical doctors and anybody of high position, high authority, like lawyers or uh, doctors or nurses or um, social workers or what have you, what have you. And those are serious positions, and they m people in these positions, and especially in my community, in the past, they didn't take them. They didn't take them serious. Is what I'm saying. And you should, you should. Mature woman, marriage. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody in my community. That's just the experiences I've seen from people in the past. But you know, you plug it in how it resonates. Mature woman, marriage. A married feminine energy has been highly affected. Highly affected. One, this is going to be a death. One, this is not. Highly negative effect, uh, uh, negatively affected. It is about to cause a huge lawsuit. Okay, I heard a married feminine energy has been highly affected. Highly affected. Um, there's at least two in the universe. I feel for some, you could be these married femme energies. For some, you could be family members of these married femme energies. For some, you could be anybody else. But it, um, however this plugs in applies, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do, if it doesn't apply, let it apply. If it don't force, if it don't fit, don't force it. But it's a married feminine energy, at least two in the universe, that have been already highly affected. So some kind of care in a hospital has been very negative, has been negative to her. In some shape, form, or fashion. So it wasn't, uh, I think it was incompetent care or, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't hear any of that. But it wasn't correct care and uh, is what I'm presuming. So I'm feeling she's going to go pull the medical records. Her medical records from the hospital is what I'm presuming. That's what I would do. Um, I'm feeling she's going to go get all her documentation from the hospital. Um, and maybe her uh, primary care in other um, areas. Of course, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm sure her lawyer will direct her what she needs to do here because this is a legal thing. So I'm sure her lawyer will direct her what she needs to do. But if it was me, I would go pull all my records from the hospital. Absolutely. And whatever primary care physician or physicians. Um, and that's just the truth. But um, one, this is going to result in a death. So it sounds like the death hasn't occurred yet, but it's upcoming of the married fem energy and for one it's a just an injured married fem energy so you have to plug yourself in where you fit um my condolences to the married fem energy about to pass away um but it was from some kind of hospital state or states 
So she's married and she's a mature fem energy. Now, maturity is not about age, physical age. She could be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, but she's mature. She's responsible. And um, I don't think she's a cheater or a third party or a sneaky link or what have you, what have you. I think she is not that way. I uh, heard she's mature. Um, and she's married, legally married. There's at least two of these in the universe. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. For some of you guys, I think you might be these people, but one of these people is going to pass away soon. I heard one's going to pass away soon. Sorry, somebody's looking at my stuff at the street. So um, my condolences to whoever's going to pass away. Um, this is terrible. Change. Change is coming. Number nine could be very significant. Number three, six, and nine. Um, threes. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Three times one is three. Three, six is nine. Three, six, and nine. Change. Five, five, five. Change energy. Um, one, I think, has already been injured or is about to be injured in a hospital. And one is about to pass away from some kind of lack of hospital treatment or mistreatment or something. Something to do in a hospital. I heard it's going to involve doctors, nurses, and other medical staff in this lawsuit. I'm assuming, you know, they're obviously going to go consult with the lawyer, a legal team, and what have you, what have you. This is, God, let me see if I hear anything. This is upcoming, but I feel the injury or injuries have already occurred for some of these situations. For some, they might be upcoming. Um, and the death has not occurred yet. That's upcoming. Change. These families are not going to mess around, and they shouldn't. These families are not going to mess around, and they shouldn't, I heard. So I heard these families are not going to mess around, and they shouldn't. So, um, and medical malpractice is very serious. It's very serious. Very serious. I heard these families should not mess around, and they shouldn't. And they absolutely shouldn't, because this is terrible is what this is. It's straight up terrible. These families should not mess around, and they shouldn't. Five, five, five. Yeah, they shouldn't. And that's just the truth. And one of these families knows a feminine energy, psychic, money is being held back from her. Once they start the litigation with this, they're going to, one, before the litigation, one, before, one before the litigation, one during, they will pay it forward to her. Information to the FBI. Okay, and so in, in one of these situations, okay, so money's being held back from psychic. Somehow a psychic is involved with these families or connected to these families or something. It's a fem psychic. You could be the fem psychic or connected to the fem psychic, but there's at least two families in here. One, I heard, is going to call, contact the FBI because they know money's being held back from this fem psychic. Um, and that could be the change, too. I heard before the litigation, um, for some of them, I mean, for one of them, it's going to be during the litigation. So I guess when they meet with the legal, um, the consultation, the legal team, the lawyer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, change coming. Um, that them delivering information to the FBI about some kind of money being held back from a feminine psychic. Uh, one is going to do it before they meet with a lawyer, it sounds like. One is going to do it, it sounds like, when they're consulting with the lawyer um, or has employed this lawyer as their, uh, or legal team as their um, choice. How did that resonate? Okay. People will end up in prison over this. People will end up in prison over this is what I heard. People will end up in prison over this. So imprisonment upright. I heard people went in, I heard prison. I didn't even hear jail because you go to jail first before you go to prison because you have to be convicted to go to prison. Um, our people will end up in prison. So I'm assuming through many series of chain events after this information, these 
one family is going to deliver it before they go to the lawyer. One is going to deliver it, it sounds like, when they consult with the lawyer or hire the lawyer or what have you, what have you. How that resonates and applies. But how that resonates, they know information that this money's been held back from this fin psychic. They're about to deliver it to the FBI. Heard FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Our people will end up in prison. Um, so I'm assuming they will get arrested by um, either FBI or local police. And then they will be ch um, charged or convicted. How that resonates and applies, I'm presuming. Um, I'm not sure. I'm just the channeler from the psychic universe. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? All right. I love you guys. I hope this helps and namaste.